thought I'd make a quick video on two different ways to use the stand that comes with the Cintiq Companion 2. They show one way in the manual, and only one way, and that's the traditional way you see in all the videos. People click it into the bottom, click it into the bottom, and then use the three different heights. And uh, it's very inconvenient to use. It takes forever to click it in and click it out, and it's just certainly not something I, I have time for. So, I'll show you a better way of using it. You see how quickly I just picked the tablet up there. Normally you're going to go through all this. You're going to click this into the back and then, oh, get that there. And then you're going to try to manage getting one of these things up here and then hold it all together and don't drop it while doing this. And then finally, it's on, it's working. There's a better way. Instead of clicking the thing in every time, just walk up to your desk, set it behind the nubby. Like that, and then just pop it in. Simple, it's staying in place. It's just behind the nubby. It's not gonna fall forward. And it's locked in on the front, the rubber, the back. That part's fine. And there's another huge use for this thing that no one, is, no one seems to have realized. It's when you uh, let's turn the tablet off. One, two. The tablet face down. You notice there's a, a Wacom right on the thing. You can insert the thing in the top of the tablet instead of the bottom. Click it downward, push it in, and it becomes one with the tablet. Bring it with you, put it in the bag, it fits fine. And when it's in this configuration, snapped on the back, all you have to do to set your tablet down vertically is open the bottom like this pull it out of the, uh, the rubberized hole and it's on a hinge. Boom! It's connected to the tablet. It's on a hinge. That's the way to use it. They should put this in the manual. 